As the French connection clicks here, the Caps are up 1-0. As the Revolution look to come right back, Brett Schneider falls down. Failhaber with it at the top of the box. Steps, crosses it in. Off the back. And two, Lee win. And just like that, the former Caps has tied things up. And you can see it on the face of Joe Cannon, probably the last man that the Whitecaps want to see get on the score sheet here. The former Whitecap, Lee Wynn. And it's sloppy defending from Vancouver here. It hits the back of Lee. Latou can't clear it. And Lee Wynn is first to it to power it by Joe Cannon. And within the first couple of minutes here, five minutes in, two goals, one for either team. You know that has to feel good for Wynn, who the Caps acquired by a weighted lottery back in December. He went through training camp and was waived nine days before the season opener. And Vancouver's loss is New England's gain. And we have quite a game here. Fireworks at Foxborough to start. 1-1. Well, it's so difficult to get a road goal. You really want to hang on to it for longer than just the minute they did before Lee Wynn pounced there. Lee Wynn is a very gifted, attack-minded player. Played in the Vietnamese Super League and has also had uh, a couple of spells with the U.S. national team camps. And he had a, a reasonably good first game in the preseason for the White Caps. That kind of tailed off before they let him go. But He'll be full of wanting to get back at his former club here tonight. He's appeared in each of the Revs games to start the season. Ten to date. He had done a great job to cut back and win it back there, but his clearing attempt goes right to Sims, and it was interesting to see that there's a TV crew from South Korea been flown to Boston to chronicle YP Lee. And what he's doing this year in Major League Soccer, they're in fact going to fly back to Vancouver to do the interview. But there's about three of them here, a cameraman, a reporter, and a producer that are working on a story for Korean television. And we've talked this year just how big YP Lee is in his home country. And in North America, too, for the Korean community, I don't think people in Vancouver realize just how significant a role he played in that South Korea World Cup in 2002 and they came in fourth place he was a captain of that team played at Spurs also at PSV and in Dortmund very good international career for YP Lee and he's had a great start to the white cap season here too Davide Kumiento with the set piece whips it in win Tierney back to win. Steps inside. Send loose. Send. <laughs> Clinical finish. And it's 2 1. Revolution on the goal by Sayer Sen. And Sayer Sen, his fourth of the year. Again with that left foot, and it's Lee Wynn who sets him up. Good through ball through Mitchell, and Alain Rashad is chasing Sarah Sen. Joe Cannon gets a piece of it, just a toe, and it finds its way into the side of the far post. Good ball, good run as well from Lee Wynn. And now with a goal and an assist, Lee Wynn is having a real impact against his former team here. Sayer hasn't really led to any link-up play with Omar Salgado or Sebastian Latou whatsoever. Tierney settles, plays in win, watched closely by Lee. Tierney over the top, Carlisle Mitchell. Kofi does well to step up. Win. Sen, Sen on side, Mitchell giving chase, can he get two? Not if Joe Cannon has anything to say about it. He stops it and quickly plays in Harvey. Things opening up maybe just a local lad, so to speak, from Massachusetts comes in. Well, you saw how young he is, 17 years old. What a cracker by Lee Wynn. A 
deadly strike from long range. Make it four for the Revolution. And the Whitecaps falling asleep again this season from a throw in. Inexcusable. Wide open, Latou leaves his man, and Lee Wynn makes the pay. Brilliant half volley from the American International over the head of Joe Cannon. But poor marking from the Whitecaps. And this game now is all but done for the men in white. to figure that Wynn would come in with a bit of a chip on his shoulder after being cut loose by the Caps. And over really needs to get that one down. It was a well built up play from the Whitecaps after watching the set piece. And Lee Wynn now will make way for Fernando Cardenas, the man who received a red card in the game against Real Salt Lake, but then had it rescinded after they looked at the video and found out that he didn't get near the player there. And we have a substitution for the Caps as well. As Kofi leaves the park.